Hey guys, what's going on? Now, I do understand that uh, yesterday's video update 4 was absolutely terrible. I mean, I'm not too sure what happened uh, in the editing, but my PC did crash halfway through, so I just kind of jumbled it all up together trying to get out as quick as I could. Uh, I have taken that down, and I will do an update video 4 and 5 kind of in a one. Uh, at the moment, like, Andrew, why are you... Uh, oh yeah, my name's Andrew, by the way. Just gave that away. Um, but Andrew, why are you in a cow pen killing cows with runes? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get mage to 27, which will enable me to uh, high, no, not high out, um, enchant a, I think it's an emerald ring, so then I can get a ring of jeweling, and then I'm also collecting cow hides so I can get my crafting up to level 27, which will let me make an emerald ring. So then I can get a jeweling ring and complete all of the Ardun easy tasks. Uh, the, most of the day I've spent doing quests for the Ardun tasks. And a lot of you in the fit, uh, friends chat may notice I've been saying cats take so long to grow because I do actually need a, a fully grown cat to complete the Ardun easy tasks. So that is what I've been doing. Uh, I will re put all the information and kind of the hidden rewards from the Death Plateau quest that I did uh, yesterday into this video now. Um, but that is pretty much all I've been doing today. And I will leave you with an update video next time. See ya! These hidden rewards are for the quest Death Plateau, and I'm sure many of you have completed these. What you want to do is, after you finish the quest, is speak to Commander Denoth and ask if there's anything else I need to do for him. And what you want to do, as you see here, you've got a, a crate of supplies which you need to take back all the way up to the top of Death Plateau. And what you want to do is, you want to go back to the cave where you mined in the west wall, and, and then that leads to the agility area. Um, what you want to do is you take it there, you complete all of that. Now this can be completed five times. It needs a, a combat level of at least 18 to do it on the fifth, uh, 16 to do it on the fourth time, 12 to do it on the third time, and so forth. So I've just skipped all the way to the head uh, to where I get to the end of the agility course. And if you've done the quest, then you should know that what you should do. And what you want to do is you want to take it up out of here. And then you want to give it to the the archery commander. I think that's his name. Yeah, ambush commander. You want to give it to him. And then he gives you three lamps each time you can do. You can do it five times. And he gives you three lamps, which makes sorry for uh, cutting that last clip a little bit short. But as you hopefully can see here, I am completing the Varok Museum Kudos. Um, so it gives me 1,000 experience in Slayer and 1,000 experience in Hunter, and this is enough to get you to one, two, well, two nine from one. And as you see there, I've managed to get nine Hunter and ten Slayer. And another great way to get your Hunter up is to do Vine Sweeper. You're not actually going to do Vine Sweeper, but you wanna, what you want to do is you want to find a tall leprechaun in a farming patch and teleport. This takes you to the Vine Sweeper place. And what you want to do is you want to buy oral roots for I think they're about 10 or 20 GP each, so it's really cheap, a uh, really fast way to get the hunter up. And as you see, I've bought 20 there. And now what you want to do is you want to climb over the sty or style, and you want to feed the oral roots to the rabbits. This is a really fast way to get your hunter up. Uh, it's really efficient. It's really quite cheap. It's not laborious or time-consuming like with a low-level hunter catching there. Uh, I think they're what tropical wagtails. I think that's 29 hunter, but you know what I mean, catching the birds. And here you see it's really quick. I mean, it's 30 experience. All you have to do is find a rabbit, click on it. You just run around the field, and that's pretty much what you do. And good hunting happens. And here is the bank. I'll start at the top. And uh, we've just got still the start the uh, the starter items. So I've just scrolled down slowly here. We've got the reward from the, the mythical seeds from the waterfall crest, like my food. Herbs. I've been farming quite a few herbs now. I've got a couple of herb seeds from Vine Sweeper, and I've got my smithing tab, my squirrel of fortune, my runes, and my raw produce. And we'll just go through that again, just in case anyone missed anything on the see The lockpicks I got from, uh, I think it was bandits in about 50 wilderness, and that's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, I haven't got great banks, not like really rich, it's just, I think great in there. But that's pretty much it, and um, I'll resume this video with more stuff later. Uh, this clip is a little bit of a fail. I mean, I managed to get my 27 mage and 27 crafting, but I failed a little bit because I didn't know you needed a smithing level of 40 to uh, smelt gold. But luckily, from woodcutting, I got a couple of uh, birds' nests, as you're about to see, and I managed to get an emerald ring. 
I managed to get three emerald rings from the birds' nests, so that was not too bad actually. And then I'm walking, should be running, should have sped the clip up, uh, sped the clip up. But um, yeah, I enchant the ring and I get an ring of jeweling, and I'm off to do my Ardi tasks. Here I've just finished the Ardune task. It took me about an hour and a half. I didn't use the guide. Uh, I think I went through two of the RuneScape updates and it took ages and I wasn't too sure whether I'd completed them because I didn't get a message like I did on the Lumbridge Draenor task saying that I've completed them so it, I did look through them and see if I'd missed any but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it now until I get to Dr. Osborne who gives you the Arlie Cloak 1 here as you see I did actually manage to do all of them I didn't miss any and now I'm talking to Dr. Osborne and I am getting my ID Cloak 1. It wasn't as great as I thought it was, uh, but there's quite a big gap for the my, uh, Max Cape from Scratch series uh, from the Ardone Tasks 1 and the Ardone Tasks 2. And I use the lamp on the summoning and I get 25, and I'll get 26. And this is the Ardone Cloak, so I'm just going to look at the stats at the moment. Uh, it's alright, I mean, it's better than a Blade Storm Drape, it gives a couple of prayer bonus. And that's pretty much it. And I hope you've enjoyed. This video has been a shorter kind of video, but has had more information in it. And I will look forward to doing update 6 probably tomorrow.